Hello everybody and welcome back to another video of SMT5 Demonus. Today we are fighting Cert. Uh, I'm only two levels higher than him this time because I did this one very unprepared and I actually won. So I'm going to see if I can replicate that today with this fight. Okay, from what I did in my original fight, I think I remember this one being pretty easy. I didn't even come in here with Max Magatsui. That shows how very much unprepared I was. But somehow I end up winning this because of one thing and one thing alone. No fire. He mostly uses only fire attacks. And he does, from what I saw last fight, he doesn't even realize <laughs> that he's getting no, his damage is getting blocked every turn until like halfway through the fight. About halfway through, he starts using more physical attacks. But by that point, you've already done so much damage and you can just start healing off all the damage that he's doing. See, like he just keeps using fire attacks. This fight really does get pretty easy. You can just keep using Boofla when you have your Magatsui turn ready, get that concentrate up and you can just get any damage from there. See, he does use physical attacks sometimes, you have to watch out. But yeah, he uses two there, which is quite scary. But most of the time he'll just be using fire attacks. I think I'll save my concentrate for now and hope he just uses a fire attack at the start of this turn. So I can use my Magatsui for two attacks. There, there we go. Okay, Omegatoki critical. And straight into two bufflers. Should be doing quite a considerable amount of damage. See, this fight might go slower because I'm uh, not as far over leveled and I'm probably going to miss a few attacks because leveling difference. But, like, he's going to get most of his attacks blocked and I'm just not going to die. <laughs> Unless he can finally figure out and, like, all of his attacks getting blocked and start using way more physical attacks, he's just not going to pose a threat. Um, I can't remember the exact. Demon Essence I used to get no fire, but I'm pretty sure there's a few. Uh, there's probably like a couple we can choose from. Uh, Quetzalcoatl, that one might have been available by this point. Uh, I just got pretty low health, but I can just heal that off. This isn't really a problem as long as I don't miss. I'm doing fine. Uh, I might, I might have to actually just use a. Uh, Ambrosia just to be safe in case he uses a double physical attack next turn as well, but This should be pretty easy I also uh, I'm still running counter from um, The last fight I did because he Set still does use a few physical attacks which can always be uh, countered and uh, they will be for non-resisted damage this time instead of Shohei who resisted them. Uh, so I'll be doing a lot more damage. Uh, he, I don't you know even why I'm trying to go block using the dampener after use Magatui because he's just going to use a physical uh, fire attack. Sorry, I'm stuttering quite a bit here. Uh, fire attack. So I'm going to know that anyway. So just uh, I'll probably have my Magatui next turn. So concentrate and get ready. Uh, I'm trying to decide whether I should use two attacks for this Mag 2 turn next turn. Because he could just straight up use two physical attacks after this and bring me down to zero health. But I'm pretty sure I still have Endure anyway, so I can take risks. What does it matter? Uh, I might start after using some Ice Gems towards the middle end of this fight to keep my MP up. But I seem to be doing fine, just fine right now. Yeah, just keep, he just keeps using those fire attacks. He just doesn't really learn. So, yeah, I can just keep using Boofers. I think I'll just use a small healing item here to make sure I'm at full health. As always, you could just use two strong physical attacks and bring you close to death. Like, two heat waves. If you're not healed, he might just one-shot you. Well, two-shot you, technically. Uh, but I think I still had Life Spring from my last fight, which was pretty useful. Yeah, Life Spring, Endure, Restore, Counter. Those are some of the main skills you want to bring in. So yeah, just keep going with Boofler. 
with restore boothlers only costing a 5 MP, especially with all the uh, boosts I gave it with glory. So it's really just like, you know, MP isn't really even that much of a bother in this fight. You're just going to keep getting MP back from every attack anyway, so you'll be doing fine. Just keep using Boofler. And I can concentrate because my Gatui skill is coming up next turn. And I'm sure you guys have seen how this fight is going to go. It's There's not really anything you need to watch out for. Not really any patterns you need to look out for. Just make sure you're not at low health and you're always wary that you can use physical attacks. As I've probably stated like tons of times in this fight because there's not much to say. It's just this easy. Which, I don't know, he wasn't that difficult of a boss the first time through, as long as you just didn't have any demons weak to fire. Uh, that's when I was playing my first run, I obviously aren't using any demons now. But, yeah, he's just gonna very slowly go down. Real fall from grace for this guy, he used to be such a good demon in like Nocturne, and now he's reduced to just hitting with fire attacks on a Nahobino that gnaws fire sad but anyway that's how the nature of these runs go you have to find stuff to exploit it through to win the fight it's not really an exploit it's kind of just playing the game and knowing what to do but anyway a fight like this is a good break from difficult fights like Lamu and uh, Lugaru was probably still like the hardest fight that I've done in this run. Probably just because there weren't many options for that fight and I was still trying to use a physical build with Fallen. So it kind of got <laughs> annoying since I didn't have my magic stat race, race that high. But now my magic's like way higher. It could, my magic stat could be a lot higher if I didn't waste my time. Um, boosting physical uh, well strength back in the early game but I think strength was pretty useful in being able to take out Hydra back when we were still using things like Bestial Bite and what Aramasa uh, if only I'd learnt that I'd have to be using Madrix for most of this run who knows there might be a huge turnaround towards the end of this run Oh, sorry, I think I nudged camera a bit there. Oh, fixing it's a bit weird. That should be alright, I think. Okay, I completely forgot what I was talking about, but uh, he uses Magatui. That's going to do nothing. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't think I'm even going to have to really use any gems for this fight. I think I'm going to be pretty fine on MP. Yeah, I might have to use, like, one. But, like, does that really matter? You're gonna, you're bound to come into this fight with a few gems anyway, as long as you're not using them on like random enemies or the sort. Yeah, he's close to being in red health now, which, yep, yeah, that's good for us. This fight can end quicker. The quicker it ends, the less likely you are to get a missed attack and get heat waved into the ground. That can happen, although very unlikely. Okay, yeah, just keep going, Boofler. I can get a concentrate off now because my Magatu is ready next turn. I'm trying to think if there's anything more I could tell you guys about this fight. Like, there's not really that much to say. Like, I didn't even have to do any grinding to prepare for this one. Like, I don't know, make sure you go magic and not strength build. Magic strength build could work, but use a lot more brain power which I don't want to have to use uh, get Diorama, Diorama is such a good thing for this entire run get Restore, Restore is just gonna help you so much, I missed there but it doesn't even matter, I'm at full health um, what else um, go get all the Me Man or as many as you can and try to get your Ice Affinity or whatever they call it to as high as it can be right now so it doesn't cost as much MP but you probably don't even need to prepare that much 
because as I said it's not that difficult to fight as I'm saying this I could get like burst right into the ground but he didn't he didn't use physical attack after I missed another thing just with the AI in this game it it's not really AI it doesn't really bend to like what you're doing or what your strategy is it kind of just follows an algorithm of just using the same attacks over and over again and not really caring whether you stop them or weak to them or anything really I don't know I don't know whether that's a good thing where like you can strategize around the bosses a lot more or a bad thing where you can just exploit them and just I don't know it's weird uh, you know what, I'm just kind of getting scared of actually missing again, so I'm just going to heal for safety's sake. I don't want to have to record this entire thing again, because, not going to lie, this is boring. I want to get to doing a fun fight. The next fun fight, um, probably, um, it's probably a fight that you didn't have that much of a problem on your, on your original run, but Chernobog. You probably forgot about him, but he's that mid-boss in the dungeon, and it, he puts out. He does a lot of stuff. He gives a lot of debuffs. He de debuffs your attack, defense, and accuracy, and evasion. All of them. He's gonna make sure all of them at their minimum, which is super annoying. Um, he has four press turns, which like, what? Wh why? Why does he need that many? So. Yeah, just if uh, if that video takes a while to come out, uh, you know why, because I was struggling again and again on it. But again, um, as you may have noticed, I kind of skipped Ishtar as the one boss between set and Chernobog. Ishtar is kind of a cakewalk as long as you just disable uh, giant shards or whatever. I don't know what to call them the laser beams so there's something I don't know as maybe if you guys realized if you played this on your own she doesn't even get to she goes down from like eight press ends like two or something and she doesn't even isn't even able to use her strongest attack I just realized this this boss is like so brain numbingly just easy of doing the same thing that I've just gone on to completely talking about the next bosses and I'm probably not going to have much to talk about on the next bosses but you you guys will probably be able to hear me rambling about the same things on their weaknesses and stuff so well I guess I'll see you guys on those ones once I'm actually able to beat this okay we're getting close I probably should have healed last turn now that I look at it I'm but uh, he's getting close. Is this it? That's it. Okay, everyone. That was SMT5 Demonless Set Boss Fight. Um, don't want to say it's easy, because none of this run should be classified as easy. But it, it's definitely not hard. Was the camera just shaking there? I'm sorry if that happened. Um, but yeah, I'll quickly skip through this dialogue, as always. Thank you for the money, Angels and the XP. And quickly show you guys that it's on hard difficulty, as always. Yep, hard difficulty. And thank you guys for watching, and have a wonderful day, everyone. Goodbye.